my girlfriend. Um, her name is Wanda. And you know the actress Diane Carroll. She was in Toronto, I think, about two or three years ago, she, maybe two years ago, when she did Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. um, there was a story. Diane came to hear me in a concert in New York, and my girlfriend Wanda was sitting next to her. So Wanda <laughs> was telling me this later. She said, I was singing something, and Diane started crying. And Wanda was sitting there saying, oh, isn't that special? This Carol is, you know, you know, dabbing a tear away. And then Wanda said, before long, she had to borrow her handkerchief. <laughs> she had to join her. <laughs> I don't remember what I was singing. But I think it's very special. And I think that's one of the great things about audiences coming to live performances. There is something, CDs are wonderful. Television performances are, are wonderful. There is still nothing quite like coming to Roy Thompson Hall, hearing a great orchestra, the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, their music director, and to hear the solos who come, you know, to hear a live concert. There is just nothing like it. Is that the do very well I, I think there's nothing like the live performance. I think it is probably the most nurturing, the most stimulating. I love, I have to tell you, the rehearsal process. I love the preparation. I think I probably even am even more stimulated in making it happen in, in a rehearsal or even, you know, even in my practice situation at home with the piano because you're really delving, you're really taking risks. And, and you could do it without a a, a safety net because you're at home. Nobody hears you if you crack or you run out of breath or you say the wrong words at a particular time. But it's, it's exhilarating. And to be able then to have hopefully gotten all the cobwebs out and then to be in front of a live audience and to be able to give them this live performing experience, I think it's probably the best part of all. I love recording and I love, um, but I think the live perform for me is what makes it and you know the experience you shared just now um, when people come backstage and you don't know what kind of a day someone has or what kind of a week or, or what kind of a year a gentleman at my last performance introduced me to his fiance he was middle aged and it wasn't his first marriage and he was so happy to be starting on his new life with his, with his wife and then he shared with me that he had very, very, very serious cancer. And what coming to the concert meant to him to be there. And that's what I mean by live performance. It's so nurturing. It's healing. It's, it's exciting. It's challenging. It's live, live music, live theater. But 